Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this section, we are going to learn about different core library class available in a Dart programming language. So mainly we'll go through a couple of class like a mat related one module or how to generate a random number, some compression related class and how to dealing with the date time in this section. Okay, so in this video, let's start with a how to generate a number and we'll see a couple of mat function that how to use it. So for that, we have one random class is available. Let's create one random number. So first we need to create a random object. So I'm just going to create a rand as a one variable and a rand. So input, you can pass something or if you don't want to pass something, that's also okay. So as a part of argument, you can pass the seed. Now what this seed means? Let's say I'll keep the seed like a hundred and let me just run rand dot let's say I want to generate the next uh, integer value maximum value will be 100 let's say so it will generate the uh, integer number up to 100 so maximum it you can generate 100 let's just print it okay so this 100 has no relation with this 100 I can keep it let's say 50 also and let me just run the code so it's 18 let me just run it again 18 so the idea behind the seed is that if you just fix this particular number or you can say seed as an input argument to this particular random class in that case whatever the random data it will generate it will be always remain same so while supplying code to you let's say if my seed and your seed will be same our code execution will give exact similar output in case of random number generation now if i let's say do not give seed and if i run the code so first time it has generated 15 let me just generate it again again 23 so it's keep changing so the idea behind that when i share the code with you I want that exactly the same random number should be generated in your code execution also. So in that case, you have to use this seed. So let's skip uh, seed. Now you can give let's say anything like one, two, three. We can create same way the double also, like rand dot next double. So it has generated 0 0.67 if i do it again again the exactly same number for both the generation it has generated let's just generate so essentially this random number generation is not a purely random number generation it's a pseudo random number generator because this again depends on some sort of seed and if that particular seed is fixed that means it is you are not generating exact random number or I would say the pure random number. Let's generate the next bool. So randomly either between two and false, it will generate one value. So it's a false. Let me run it again. Again, it has generated false. So that is how you can generate the random number. Now let's say uh, the double can generate the number between zero to one only. Let's say you want to generate a number between zero to 10, which is also decimal by nature, because this part will generate only integer number. So you can just multiply let's say by 10 or i would say so it will generate the number between 0 to 10 in a decimal range so 6.7 let me just remove this part so randomly to generate anything between 0 to 10 okay so for time being i am just setting the seed as any number okay so this is all about the random class now let's see about the another some match function so let me just comment this part so let's say i want to find the square root of number so some of the simple functions already built in inside the dart programming language or a dart code library we're going to use let's say i want to find the square root of 10 and let me just run the code so it's a 3.16 
let's say we want to find the power of number so let's say power 10 to the power of I want to find let's say 2.5 and let me just run it so 3.316 let's change it let's say 2.9 I want so 794 you can do all those uh, trigonometric related calculation also so you can use like a cos and you have to give the input as a radian so let's say 2.0 cos 2.0 we want to find it so it will be minus 0 0.416 so you can go through the documentation of this particular dart mat package okay so uh, one more thing that uh, this dart mat package is been already imported while I was doing some exercise so that's why it didn't ask me to import it but you have to take care while uh, running the code because when you first time write the random function or uh, any math related function it will uh, it will give the compilation error so you have to import this particular package dart colon math okay so you can go through the documentation and you can uh, experiment with a uh, number of other fun math functions are available in a dart programming language okay so that's all about this video See you in the next video.